come back down the boat again, do a few more jobs. Just made that up. It's a bit bigger than the old one. It's a, a device for pinning the crab. We say pinning the crab. It's you slide the claw up like that, and you put a knife in there, and you cut just inside the claw. It stops the crab from pinching the brown crab because they're very dangerous. Those ones, as they get older, you can pretty much break your fingers. So you cut them to make them safe. Well, that's the pinning device on the boat. Ready for them great big brown crab. We hope, anyway. Right, ready? Right. You know the procedure, make sure these are fully open. Right, right you ready? Go! Right, now we're going to line up the bolt holes. Hold on, cover. There we go. We've got to do this launch now, but it's very windy today, so it won't be happening today. Tomorrow. Right, we are actually on the water. I brought the boat down and we've launched. So we're just bobbing around. I've just been doing some jobs on the boat to fix it up, waiting for the tide to come in because we're going to take it for a run. We're going to check our pots that are out there in this one. I'm going to put down this little tiny test pot. I just want to see if we can catch anything in that. Um, yeah, so it's going well. All the electrics are working. The um, engine I don't know yet because we haven't started it. It should do. I think it will. I mean, it's been serviced and that, so we'll see. But so far, so good. We're just waiting because the uh, water over there, as you go out, gets a bit shallower, shallower with the rocks and weeds, so we don't want to run into that. Right, let's get going. We're, we're about to make a move. Engine started first time, so. I think it's the, the handle one, but grab whichever one you can. Right. main mooring which was Rebecca's just chopping up some bait we're gonna go and do the pots now just a few that are over there give the engine a run then we're coming back in it's quite breezy out here actually I thought it was supposed to be really calm today again well it's supposed to be a really nice day today so we're gonna to fish but we're not gonna fish now because it's not that nice Right, Rebecca's lifting up the first pot. We thought we'd do a closer one. Actually, we got it right in the edge of the weed here. Don't know if it was against the rock, but near cover. It's right against that little tiny bit of rock there, or weed. Let's hope a big lobster is there and has gone in the pot. I hope so, it's way in. Yes, it would be rather good. A what and all that. You're up, Talk over there. Got it. That bait in there, that big white thing. Oh, crikey, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of crabs. But we don't expect much from this pot, to be honest. That's it, right. Good.
pretty flat, spider flat. A little bit of weed. There is a spider crab. Looks like just the one. That's a very empty pot. <laughs> I'd stay with that bait. We'll move this pot over somewhere else. I think <laughs> that's a biggie that yeah, one yeah nice nice crab that yeah put him up here look i'll take him hold the door Wind, eh? It's oh, it's like oh, you're right with this one. Yep. Oh, this is an inkwell one. You can put the fresh bait in this one. It's done poor as well, eh? There's just nothing in them. Drop it. There's a little rock there, so we'll put it near that. For a little outcrop. In fact, we'll go and do this up big set now, and we'll come while the tide's down a bit, and then we'll come back, do the last two on the way in. Maybe it was just a flush that came through. Then you're up. Uh, one more in there, I think. See you later. <laughs> yeah, 
chuck it over. That is a weenie one. It is. Go. Should be about right. It goes 21 to 30 feet then. Last chance to get something real nice. Closest pot in, well, store pot. Closest store pot in. Crab in it. Easy. There's a nice big lobster in there. Look. Oh yeah. Just be careful. Great big lobster amongst the spider crabs. Cracker. Hardly hold it. <laughs> Big old lobster. Yeah, nice. Big female, no eggs, yeah. no eggs. Cool. Yeah. That's excellent, that is. Let's have a quick look what else is in the pot. Yeah, it's just a bit below what we'd take. I mean you could take it if you just didn't have any and you wanted to get one for the table, but we're going to leave it and wait for the big stuff. Hopefully there'll be some real big ones. Do you think it's anything to do with the, the fact it's come off that big spring now? I don't think that's got anything to do with it, to be honest. Oh well, the final part does it again. Quite often that happens. The very last pot we lift is the one. Well, you wouldn't be expecting that great big lobster though, tell me that. No, it's funny though because I was standing there thinking it would be funny if we had a big lobster in it yeah. right here because this is pretty much where, you, where we put, well, where we put a store pot normally. It's not really a lobster ground but it just shows they are around. I've never had one that big there. I've had one more, I've had one, two I think I've had around here before. Normal size but not one that big. Not in this patch. Well, it's got to get us back to where, uh, I don't know where, somewhere around here. Uh, chuck it here, this will do. Right then. There we go, two uh, spider crabs and one lobster. Final, that's the final catch, what we had today. Not a huge amount, but it's plenty. And this is a really nice crab, that one. I mean, this is a good one too, but that one's the, uh, and that lobster, that's a cracker, that one. That's got to be a couple of pounds of that one. Biggest so far this year. Right, we're going to head back in, because it's, it's definitely not nice out here. I say that, it's nice to be out though, back on the boat. 